Hi, my name is Maria, and today I'm going to show you how to do the area of an arrow. So there is no formula for the area of an arrow, so what we have to do is split up the arrow into two figures that we do know the formula for. And we notice that if I just connect this piece of the arrow, I have a triangle and I have a rectangle, which I know the area for. So the area of a triangle is half the base times the height, and the area of a rectangle is going to be length times width. So if we fill in some dimensions here, let's say that we know this is two, we'll make each of these pieces two, and then we need to know this height of the triangle or altitude, and we'll say that this is three. I can find out the area of the triangle by doing half the base times the height. So the base will be two plus two plus two. It'll be six, and the height is three. So the area of the triangle is gonna be one half of three times six, so we get one half of 18, and we get nine. So nine is the area of the triangle part of it. Now for the rectangle, I need to do length times width. So I also need to know this portion. So if this was given to us, let's say that this was given to us as five, we're just gonna do two times five, and we get 10. So that means that the area of this portion of the arrow, the rectangular portion, is 10. And then to get the area of the entire arrow, all we have to do is add the area of the triangle with the area of the rectangle, and we get 19, whatever the units were, squared. So the area of this arrow would be 19. So you find the area of the triangle portion, find the area of the rectangular portion, and then add them together, and you'll get the area of the arrow.